Hi everybody, it's me, Jessica Lahore. I'm back with another Lahore makeup tip. Today we're going to be doing foundations, uh, highlighting, blushing, concealer, and contouring, okay? I've already carved out my brow shape, and believe me, this does get better, but this is how I do it. Prime my face, I put uh, my little patches on with concealer for the red spots, and I'm just going in with Dermablend Foundation. This is my base foundation. And I put this all over the face. I use a lot, like many a drag entertainer. Everybody kind of does something a little bit different, but pretty much the same ideas. So I'm putting this all over the face. Oh, the tips of the brows. Down the neck. Okay, I'm gonna blend this entire thing out. Now I really love Derma Blend Foundations. They blend super easy to full coverage. When I put powders on things and I start adding layers, it doesn't seem as yellowy in the final product. I'll show you. Getting behind the ears, getting onto the ear a little bit. I blend into the brow just a little bit. And I do a little bit of back and forth with how I do my highlight and my contour. So I'm gonna go in with a white and do a little bit down the nose and onto the brows and blend that out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my first contouring. This is in a medium bronze. And I'm gonna put some on the cheeks, around the head, around the jawline, up under the chin. And I take a small, tiny fluff brush, really precise, to do my nose. And I start where that natural nook is, and I bring it to a point down my nose to thin it out. This is one of a couple different styles of nose shapes that I do. And then we'll take another sponge, because I use a lot of sponges in this process, and blend that out all over the face. These blend super creamy, especially when on top of each other. Blending it up into the ear, down to the cheek. I'll go around the forehead and the hairline. And this is going to be a highlighting and contouring with creams. Like this is how I do my cream stuff. I'll do stuff with powders later. Bring this behind the ear, of course. I like to go around the chin area to pinch it off, and then we do the nose. I use the flat end of the sponge to get right up close to that line that I created. Okay. This is all done. Then I'm going to go in with a darker foundation. This is in Deep Natural. Do a little bit, because a little bit will go a long way. And I do this on just the really edges of the hairline and the cheeks. To give a little bit of bronze, a little under the chin as well. Nothing too crazy, different sponge. A little bit goes a long way, like I said. We're gonna buff this into it, make this a little bit more intense of a contour cut on the cheek. Okay. 
getting into the hairline for sure. Let's do some liquid blush now. I use a combination. This is a Marco Marco deep purple blush. Plum. I just do a strip on each side like that. And then I take actually a red foundation by Mayron and just do a couple taps on top of that. It brings warmness to the face. And I'll take my blush sponge and I will just blend this. Try to leave it one little spot here. Bring it up into or the area of the head over here into the cheeks and again this is before applying any powder so it all looks really wet right now okay and then I'm gonna take my normal foundation and buff out the bottom edges of where I contoured I'm gonna blend up here a little bit to marry them together is what I call it to get to call it and then I'm gonna go back in with my white and I'm gonna highlight the chin top of the lip a little bit of a triangle motion here under the eye and I'm gonna take a different sponge and do the blending into the blush, up against the contour of the nose. Okay, we're gonna blend out the chin, the upper lip, and under the eye very precisely. All right, and that is how I contour blush, highlight my face, and this is all before I add any powders.